Hi, welcome to this first episode of In the Art Studio with Annick Duvier. So I'm Annick, I'm an artist, I love painting, drawing, ceramics, a lot of different things. So I want to document my journey with you as an artist and show you the different things, my inspiration, the materials I use. So we're going to do a couple things in this episode. We're going to do material reviews, like I'm going to show you the different brushes I use, like this one, I love it, it's a big brush. And I used it to paint the background of this painting. I'll tell you about it a little bit later. We're going to do, I'm going to take you out of the studio. We're going to go to galleries and events and art fairs. So excited. I love these things because I get inspired so much by all the different artists. So we're also going to do artist interviews and we're going to do word of the day because I think it's very important to know the arts vocabulary, which can be, which can be a little tricky sometimes. So let's jump right in. Today our word is going to be medium. And medium means the materials that you use to create your work of art. So the plural form of medium is media. And some of the common medias are oil paint, acrylic paint, you know, pigments, tempera, all the different material you use to create an artwork. Just like this painting right here, it's called We Are the Future. And it's in my Fertility Goddess collection. You can go on my website, anikdrivia.com. I'll write it at the bottom for you. And it's a fertility test that you, you know, the little the plates, glass plates that you put under the microscope to count the eggs. So of course, that's my interpretation and I change the colors and everything. So that, that's what it is. So it's called the future because, you know, everything starts from the eggs. So this is, this is that <laughs> the other thing I want to tell you about is Swan Day you guys you know what Swan Day is I'm so excited that it comes again this year and it's the 12th anniversary and Swan Day is to support women artists and they are designed to showcase the power and diversity of women's creativity so you can check it out in women's arts women arts.org and um, they have events all over and the official date is March 30th but they say that you can celebrate it all March and all April so there's no you can do whatever you want to celebrate an woman a woman artist you can purchase their art go to the events you know and I want to thank you for supporting me it means a lot thank you so much because I love creating and I'm not gonna stop creating so thank you and I would not be there if there was no support if there were no purchases so thank you so much all right now the last thing I want to talk to you about is to always keep an open mind and we when you are ready to learn the teacher appears that's gonna be my motto and this is what I'm gonna say at every episode <laughs> So I want to tell you the story of Ethan Anderson, which was my teacher for this YouTube channel. He's this eight-year-old awesome child that I met the other day and he told me, you're an artist. How come you don't have a YouTube channel? I have a YouTube channel. I'm eight years old. I'm like, really? How do I do it? So I had, I was open enough to accept this teacher, you know, he's younger than me and I'm like, yes, but there's no problem because he has the knowledge and I don't, I didn't know anything about how to start a YouTube channel and he told me, okay, just go on YouTube, subscribe, do this, do that, I'm like, okay, let's do this, let's do this, so this is, thank you Ethan and make sure you go check his YouTube channel, it's Ethan Henderson and subscribe and like his page. So this is it for our first episode, so always keep an open mind and be ready to learn. Thank you. This was End the Studio with Annick Duvivier, End the Art Studio with Annick Duvivier, and I will see you for the next episode.